So given the recursive sequence zn plus 1 equals zn plus 2 with z sub 0 equaling 4, let's calculate several terms of this recursive sequence. Now this is called a recursive sequence because the next term depends upon the previous one. So for example, if n is 1, this formula would tell me z... Actually, sorry, if n is 0, this formula would tell me z sub 0 plus 1 equals z sub 0 plus 2. Or in other words, z1 equals z0 plus 2. And if n was 1, it would tell me z1 plus 1 equals z sub 1 plus 2. Or in other words, z sub 2 equals z sub 1 plus 2. So notice that it, it's telling me that the next term, the next term can be determined by taking the previous term and adding 2. So if z sub 0 is 4, z1 is going to be, well, z0 is 4, remember, so we're going to go ahead and replace z0 with 4, plus 2 is 6. z2 is z1 plus 2, and z1 we just figured out was 6, and so z2 would be 8. z3 would be z2 plus 2, which would be 8 plus 2 would be 10. And we can see how this sequence con continues, and this turns out to be just a basic linear sequence. So let's look at another one. Now, Im really important here, we can talk about these complex uh, sequences uh, like this one here. Uh, so let's see, z0 here is 4. z1, according to my formula, would be i times z0 plus 1 minus i. So that would be i times 4 plus 1 minus i. So I've got 4i plus negative i is 3i, and then my real part is 1. So after the first term, my first term, uh, next term of the sequence is 1 plus 3i. z sub 2, then, would be i times z1 plus i minus 1 minus i which would be i times, well, what was z1? z1 was 1 plus 3i. So we'll go ahead and distribute here. i times 1 is i. i times 3i is 3i squared. And remember, i squared is negative 1, so we'd end up with negative 1 times 3, or negative 3. Now we can add those together. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2 i and i is 0, and so this term ends up being real. It ends up being negative 2. If we continue this, uh, the next term would be i times z2 plus 1 minus i would be i times negative 2 plus 1 minus i would be negative 2i plus 1 minus i is 1 minus 3i. And if we did the next term, the next term turns out to be 4, and the next term turns out to be 1 plus 3i, and it turns out something interesting happens where this pattern starts to repeat itself. Um, so this is a recursive, uh, recursive relationship defining a sequence, but the sequence ends up repeating itself every 4 terms.